This is a quick tutorial video on how to check if your uh, frequency shift keying is uh, working with the function generator. So on the back of your function generator, uh, on your desk you'll have a uh, 33120A Hewlett Packard function generator. And if you look on the back of it, you'll have two B and C ports. Uh, the, one, the one we're interested in is the one on the right. So it'll say EXT, that's external triggering for frequency sh shift keying, burst, and there's a little 5 volt symbol there. So what I did first, just to make sure that it's working, is I basically brought up, uh, I plugged in my, my deck and it brings up this real simple thing. And so you can use the function generator and you set it to 5 volts peak to peak and you do an offset of 2.5 volts so that uh, it's going from 0 to 5 volts. So next thing we have to do is we got to go to the function generator and actually get it to external from the uh, get it to trigger from external sources. So if you go uh, shift and enter that'll take you to the menu. So we need to uh, well so this is for uh, amplitude modulation, uh, we're not interested in that. This is frequency modulation, this is burst, burst, and here we go. So this is frequency shift key. This is the lower frequency. Uh, you set the higher frequency by controlling the knob over here when you select frequency shift key. Right now I have it set at 500. Uh, now if I go and I this is the rate, so this is how often it will change. Uh, we don't care about this because we're going to be externally triggering it. So if we go to the next one, where you uh, you have a choice between internal or external. You want to make sure you have external. Press enter. So now, right now I have it at uh, 1000 hertz on the upper. Now if I lower it, so I can get it. That's 100. So if you notice the zero, this is referring to the zero. I can control the frequency there, but uh, on the function generator. Now what I can, what now what I can do is since it's externally controlled trigger-wise, I can change the function. I can change the frequency here, and now it gets twice as many. So here's back at 10 hertz. And let's go to 50 hertz and 40 hertz and let's cut down the zero. So there you go. Real quick example with frequency shift keying. Um, I modified, uh, well, as you can see, this is basically two B and C's that come together. Uh, this is what's feeding the trigger source that's going back into the trigger on the function generator and one of the outputs, well basically it's going over here to trigger and then I have an, I'm looking at the output to make sure that it's actually triggering. So anyways, that's that.